The next day we came back and <laughs> no. He <laughs> appreciated his candor. Yeah, n the one word, no. <laughs> that was a very, he said they get along well. But they had the utmost respect for each other because if you sat there and listened to both of them talk about each other, my God. Well, he likes the kid. They both were extremely because favorable of each the other. The kid does good art. The kid is a producer, Ben Foster. You know, uh, he does good art work. He produces good art. He keeps the budget. He does. You know, he's getting he's getting other people that are big names to come into these things. So, basically, um, uh, talent feeds off of talent. Yeah. It's why if you um, you do a movie uh, like uh, remember. Um, Everybody said around the world 80 days. My God, you got all these people in this thing. It's not going to work because they got all these egos. Well, no, they were professional actors. They fed off the fact that, you know, like you had people, you know, from the silent movie days that hadn't worked in a while, but they were huge stars and had a following. And you had younger actors. And, and they and all loved being on the same set. They were all on the same set. It was so, it's the, and they got this, they got. They, 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 okay, it was a Brie Larson. I picked up things from, I, I was here because, you know, actually they asked the question about, did you pick up anything from all the older actors? You know, you know she said, well, yeah, she, 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 she had an opportunity to work with a lot of people that have been around a lot longer than she has. You, if a younger actor, you should learn from you, the older. You so, yeah, you soak it up. Yeah, because it's your chance. You may never, you may never get a chance to work with Sigourney Weaver or a Robin Penn White, or a Woody Harrelson ever again. So you take that opportunity. I mean, I soak things up from people. I mean, I sometimes, I mean, uh, I, I, I sometimes it was people younger than I am that I knew were going to really be big shots. I mean, you know, so you sit there and figure out how, how you know, that they would, um, okay, I mean, I actually, okay, anybody would, you're talking James Dean to be like 80 years old now, folks. He's a lighthead boy, but he comes on and, you know, like Marlon Brando, and he's very quiet and he's soft, and 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 there he wasn't a firebrand, but he 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 was making his point by acting. Told he was an actor. He came back from World War II, went to school, didn't go stu You know, he basically studied how to make a tree, but, uh, <laughs> which is a big deal. Acting. Acting. I mean, I didn't make a tree. I actually I went out to the I went out to the mall joint. I didn't come back, and I really got pretty. He didn't do the assignment, you know. Why didn't he come back? And he said because that's what he did. That was what he did. He he went and didn't come back. And they're trying to they're trying to get this into their heads. You mean we could be trees? We could be rocks? Or we could just leave? <laughs> and he said that was what he chose to do. You know that was his character. He picked up and he left. So he passed. <laughs> and they couldn't understand that. James Dean, James Dean basically was just a, just a slow southern boy. He just took what he had and he used it because he wasn't, he wasn't a big powerful man. He didn't have a big booming voice. But he was a little guy that knew how to win a scene. The same thing as um, uh, Steve McQueen. Steve McQueen, just from the first time I ever saw Steve McQueen, he was he Mr. Cool. I mean, he'd just show up on a set and it was just like he was Frank Sinatra. You know, he'd be, you know, the case the room, and everybody knew that this was McQueen's movie, folks. It didn't. You didn't have to know anything more. I don't know who that guy is. But just look at him, you know, like John Wayne, just, you know, just walking around and never said anything. I mean, the guy didn't say anything in the first role he had, and everybody knew he had it because he had his presence, and everybody noticed the presence and. This is what you pick up from people older and younger. Hopefully, the pre actually, Brie Larson will pick up from what, because she paid attention. She's actually, I'm guessing she was the only structured performer in the entire cast. Because when she's talking about this and that, and the others who are more older and more mature, she's all been talking about the same things that the young girl was talking about, how you actually make a movie. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, sometimes I go on and on with the fact that I, I like good performances. I hate crappy movies. I worked on I worked on bad movies. I know. So where does this fall then? It falls in. It's a really good made-for-television movie, and it's not good. It, it really isn't. It wouldn't be. And it's not a movie. 
You know, HBO would not show something like this because um, why? Uh, because it's it's it doesn't go far enough for uh, for for the premium cable. Oh. It looks like something. Uh, okay, you toss out a bit of this and a bit in that, and it could be an old-fashioned ABC movie of the week. Mm. That's all. Of it. That's why. That's why I've seen the IMDb's on it. No one likes it. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's got a bad rating. I produce something. We produce things. I can get. I can get a six on the on junk we do. They've got a five nine, which is really bad. It means that basically maybe one more person liked it than did like dislike it. So, but um, it's just. Okay, like you said, would you pay to go see the movie? No, I wouldn't typically pay for a movie like this. See, and it has. I, I would watch it on TV, yeah. but I wouldn't go because this is not a movie that. There's some movies that need to be seen on a big screen. This one doesn't. No, it's a little screen movie with a big. It, what it is? Uh, it's a little screen movie with a big screen performance. But Woody Harrelson, in my opinion, he's becoming like. Um, uh, I got I got to work with um, uh, uh, Lloyd Bridges when Lloyd Bridges was a younger actor, and Lloyd Bridges basically got the reputation as he's got older. Lloyd Bridges never gave a bad performance in his life. If you knew Lloyd Bridges was in it, didn't make any difference that the thing stunk. Lloyd Bridges was in it. This is the same thing with Harrelson. It's why they call him an icon and a treasure. You want him in your movie because they know Woody Harrelson goes out there and he turns it on. And it's a, it's a, it, it, if it was somebody else, it would be a star-making performance with Woody Harrelson. You expect it from Woody Harrelson. The same thing, you expect, uh, you expected, um, you know, Frank Sinatra to hit those songs. You expected, Hen uh, you know, uh, Henry Fonda to come out and give an Oscar-type performance on everything he did. Harrelson has now moved into that category where just one movie after another movie in different genres. Two years ago, Zombie Town. Last year, Messenger. This year, this one. He, he gives high caliber performances and it's expected of him. Mm -hmm. And he can't, he can't, he, he has to live up to himself. Uh, uh, Orson Welles is a perfect example. Orson Welles basically did all those great movies by the time he was 25. And he's, you know, like, it's just, um, Alexander the Great, I've conquered the world. What is left to do? Woody Harrelson has no place to go. He is already here. All he can do is go there. And basically he can come back up again. But this is the only direction he can go. He can never get any higher than what he is because he's at the, he's at the really top of the food chain. But do you pay, you know, eleven dollars to go see Woody Harrelson in a movie alone? I wouldn't. You know, it's a you know, it's a good made for TV movie. It's a good little art film, but it is not a general audience movie. Mm -hmm. So I guess so until our next one, which shall be, uh, what is the next one going to be? The next one going to be The Warrior with Nick Nolte. Right. But until that review comes up, this is Old Camel. And this is not a spring chicken. We're here yesterday, today, and tomorrow. And for more information, you can go to www.montybubble.net on the net. And wherever you're watching, subscribe to us, follow our daily newscast in 3D. And thank you once again for over 40 million links on the internet.